Hi, I'm Katie here at the 2011 USF Engineering Expo with engineer Jacob Mover. We're here with Team Florida, who's competing in the 2011 U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon. Team Florida, some of our architects are here. Jacob's going to explain to us some of the engineering aspects of this flex house, which is a net zero energy house. Jacob? Hi, um, here to talk about some of the systems that we have in place uh, within the house. Uh, first, we're starting with uh, our solar systems, PV, photovoltaic cells that capture and harness the sun's energy uh, for use. It's um, a system that doesn't use any batteries because it's actually connected to the grid. Um, it's designed to sell the excess energy that we produce throughout the day that we're not using back to the energy companies. And then at night when the sun's not shining, we can actually uh, take that energy back from the energy company. And um, it's designed over the course of a year to actually produce net zero. We're actually producing more energy than we're using. Um, we're also utilizing a system called solar thermal. We're doing this um, to basically do all of our hot water and heating in the building. Um, we're using this for showers, um, your refrigerator, um, your dishwasher, that kind of thing. Um, and then our, our heating and cooling, our air conditioning system that we're using. Uh, typically in Florida, it takes a lot of energy to pull out all the moisture. You have to take the temperature down past dew point uh, so the water condenses, then you reheat it back to a uh, comfortable temperature that you can release into uh, the atmosphere. And, uh, so in this, our system that we're using is a liquid desiccant. Basically, you're taking ambient air, you're pushing it through a special solution that removes all the moisture, all of the water content collects at the top, and that's purged throughout the day um, as water accumulates in the system. Um, the big advantage to this is it doesn't require a lot of energy to run the system, and it takes out all the moisture, and then we're able to cool the air um, and disperse it slowly, slowly throughout the house constantly. Um, another key feature that we're utilizing is passive cooling. Um, we're, we're cooling the air before it, uh, it enters the space. Um, and we're also using a lot of shading. These louvers that you see um, provide a lot of shading so that it's not, the house doesn't get in direct sun. Um, we're also considering the orientation of the sun and how that affects um, the load on the house. Um, this is the south facing wall that receives the most sun. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of shading on this side. There's not a lot of windows uh, to allow heat to enter the space. Um, on the south, on the north facing wall, um, we have a lot of windows that are utilizing natural light that we can uh, give the occupants uh, more of a natural uh, interact with the space. Um, and it's also, you know, as the name hints, it's, it's flex house. It's designed to be flexible. Um, these modules expand out in more milder climates, like in the wintertime, when maybe you want to open everything up and have the free flowing breeze. Um, but then extreme temperatures, like the summer, you can close it down and um, conserve more energy so it's, it's more efficient. Um, if you want to get more information from us, visit us at flexhouse.org or you can see us on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks. Bye.